Yes guys, what's going on? Welcome to Adam McCullough TV. I'm Adam, we're outside Old Trafford. Today is FA Youth Cup final day 2022. We will get to see United's class of 22, hopefully bring home the FA Youth Cup. Now it's been 11, years since Manchester United won it. The last team that won it involved Jesse Lingard, Raval Morrison, Paul Pogba. We also won it, remember, the class of 92, the Beckhams, the, the Scholeses and all those kind of guys, Nevilles. Yes, some famous players for Manchester United have lifted this trophy and hopefully some of Manchester United's boys today will get the opportunity to do that again by beating Nottingham Forest. It's not going to be easy though, but let's get inside and see how it goes down. Come on, Red. Ninety two, ninety five, two thousand three, twenty eleven. Them bad boys. The one I wanted to look at was get the ninety two one out. It's in a few big names on there. Now look on the back. Who signatures we got? Or oh, is that are those signatures with the ticks? Yeah. So you got Foot, Casper, Neville. Savage. Look at that lineup though, Beckham in there as well. History. Same again tonight? Yeah, you'd hope so, wouldn't you? Well, Garnacho is about to receive his Player of the Year award with his family there alongside the pitch, so check this out. Getting a lot more busy. And over here, we've got Ryan Giggs, Nicky Butt, we've got Phil Jones, Harry Maguire. I'm sure Fergie will be arriving soon. Where? Oh, oh, there he is. It's Manchester United 1 0 after 13 minutes. Reese Bennett with a goal, a captain's goal from Reese Bennett. To be fair, Forest have been very much in this game. Their fans have been making a lot of noise. They've had a few attacks of their own without quite creating anything. But Manchester United got a free kick, got the ball into the box, and it was Reese Bennett there to make it 1 0. Keep it up, Reds. Come on.
So it's 1 1 just before half time. Radic Vitek in the goal with a mistake. Um, it's, it's a proper mistake, to be fair. And uh, he must be feeling like the ground needs to open up and swallow him up. But it's 1 1. The Forest fans have woken up again. And uh, it's game on. Um, such a disappointing goal to concede, but we've still got a half to go to rescue this game. I found it was a little bit cheeky that the MUTV cameras zoom straight in on David De Gea's face after the goal, which is a bit cheeky. Half time 1-1, one, one, it was that Vitek mistake which wrapped up the half and uh, gave Nottingham Forest a way back into the game. Um, United have been the better team, but it's still, I think it's been a 50-50 half and Forest probably deserved that goal, but yeah, 1-1, one, one, half time, huge second half coming up from United and hopefully that don't play on Vitek's mind because it was a poor mistake, but he hasn't looked shaky apart from that. So fingers crossed, it comes back out with a little bit of composure and United can um, go on and, and get the win. I want to welcome the latest intake to our academy, the former to have you We're going to have a chat with Ryan first. Obviously, Ryan, you've got a big role to play. But tell us what it's going to be like to be in the dugout here at Old Trafford. running through got clipped down after some hard work by Joe Hugel um, it is a penalty to Manchester United the referee was looking at his line all for some help because he wasn't sure whether it was inside the box or outside the box it looks like it was just just inside although I'm not sure yet but it is definitely it was outside the box actually it might have been outside the box if it is it's on the line United may have got lucky there. If there's VAR, that's not a penalty. Yeah! So if you didn't know, Garnacho did score that penalty in the end. He hit the Sioux as well, as you saw. And the attendance was 67,492, which is absolutely incredible. I believe it's a record for an FA Youth Cup final as well. And remarkable stuff, remarkable stuff. How many Premier League teams get that many people in to see them? And yes, I know it was a pound a seat. And yes, I know United's first team isn't doing great at the moment. So we're just here to, to see anything good at the minute. But huge stuff. This youth team has had massive support. Manchester United fans know exactly what the youth mean, how important the academy is, and they've stepped up here today, the fans have. And the players have so far too. Listen to that noise. I wouldn't do that though, give the Glazers idea, they'll knock off the floodlights. Dave, we're reaching the last couple of minutes. We're into extra time. I think there's like three and a half left. Nerves? Yeah, just a little bit, just, yeah. <laughs> of his game, United's third, I think we've got three minutes of injury time left. The FA Youth Cup is Manchester United's for 2022 and the class of 22 have followed in the footsteps of many Manchester United greats. Oh, 
What a goal, what a performance from Garnacho. And the nerves are now settled. 3 1, United. Huge deflection. <laughs> Let it say 3 1. <laughs> you were nervous as well, them nerves are gone. Still, still. <laughs> Anything can happen. Incredible stuff here at Old Trafford. Manchester United 3, Nottingham Forest 1, Manchester United's class of 22 are FA Youth Cup winners creating their own bit of history here tonight following the footsteps of the likes of Ryan Giggs, Paul Scholes, Nicky Pop, Paul Pogba, Jesse Lingard, Rabal Morrison and many, many others. Fingers crossed they'll go on to lift many more trophies in a Manchester United shirt but this is just the start for many of these today. A huge, huge moment and a huge goal or pair of goals from Alejandro Garnacho who received his Player of the Year award before the game and will surely go on to be a star of the future. But so many of them out there today worked their socks off, put on a real battle. It wasn't a great game of football. There were a lot of nerves in the air. And in the second half, Forrest at 1-1 looked a little bit of the better side. But this Manchester United team dug deep, they worked hard, the substitutions out, and they got the win in the end. Alejandro Garnacho with the winners. A goal from the penalty spot and another one that took a deflection. But a huge win for Manchester United. History is made here at Old Trafford. And I've got to say a hats off as well to Warren Joyce because Warren Joyce and his Nottingham side have put on a big performance here today. But they were unfortunate not to get the win. United win 3-1 with the FA Youth Cup champions again. Go on, now. So there you have it guys, we're at done at Old Trafford for today, but Manchester United's youth team have created history again. Manchester United are the FA Youth Cup winners for 2022. We have beaten Nottingham Forest 3-1. Shout out to Nottingham Forest, Warren Joyce and their boys. They did well out there today, but eventually United came out winners. Got a natural grabbing the headlines, but I think it was a proper team performance. There was a lot of nerves out there today. There was a lot of, you know, pressure on them playing at Old Trafford in front of 67,000 something they haven't done before and then pulling out the performance when they needed to and getting the result I think that's huge massive for some of these players 
and who knows maybe some of these players will get their opportunity to develop under Eric Ten Hag on the same night Eric Ten Hag lifted a trophy for Ajax his last trophy the Eredivisie now he's won the league United have won the FA Youth Cup here I wonder if there's a little connection there that we see some of these players over the not next season but over the next few years begin to be bedded into this Manchester United team because we have got plenty of potential at this club not only in the 18s in the 23s as well and if we can slowly bed that into the first team along some quality signings with a great coach who knows where we can go but today a little bit of history was made at Old Trafford some good vibes as well because it's been negativity all season so that was good felt good and United have won something which is nice anyway let us know your thoughts in the comments below make sure you subscribe and like and comment and sharing keep it locked to Adam McCola TV until next time I'm out of here